So it's been two years since I posted my first video. That's crazy. This account started off as a little Instagram page and now it's a pretty big YouTube channel that sometimes even sells merch. So I'm gonna do something today that I've never done before and that's react to a video. My own video, my first video. I'm definitely ready to cringe. So let's get this going. This was a video introducing myself and how I became an enthusiast. That mouse What's clicking in the up, countdown, very classy. Welcome to my brand I seriously have never YouTube changed channel, the background images drills. in you my intro. From Instagram under the same name. How is that possible? If you don't follow me, please do so. Airtime thrills, all one word. Yeah, I was all about I Instagram back then, even before I even considered doing a channel. A backstory of how I became an enthusiast. My coaster story starts at Knott's Berry Farm in 1998. I know it's kind of strange because I grew up in Santa Clarita, just minutes from Magic Mountain. But the truth is, I was a I started this channel without a video editor. To not so this was all done with PowerPoint me to and a screen a capture software revenge. and a cheap USB mic. But I and it all had to be done it in one take. And this one probably took me about five uh, tries. With some other coasters in the park, especially the defunct masterpieces, the Vacoma Boomerang and Togo's Gem, the Wind. Y'all missed out on Windjammer. I made another trip out was to awesome. 1999 and I rode Ghost Rider for the first time, but I still wasn't coaster crazy. That all changed when I was invited to a birthday party at Magic Mountain in the summer of 2000. I hadn't been to the park in probably six years and I was terrified of their lineup of coasters. The first coaster we tackled oh, was Oh yeah, my Viper. friends had no mercy on me, throwing me on Viper experience. for my first ride. I still remember the fear going up that lift hill, but as the day went on, I knocked out all the coasters one by one. Check out my picture Batman, while I was riding Goliath. Colossus, Cyclone, Ninja. My throwaway the camera. The one that scared me in particular, Goliath. Every time I didn't die, it felt like a victory, and Goliath quickly became my That's favorite. That's a horrible coaster, thing to which admit. I know is a very GP thing to say, but I was pretty GP back then, so I have an excuse. At this point, I was pretty hooked on coasters. I didn't have a Six Flags season pass yet, but I started doing a lot of coaster research online. And I joined some coaster forums. Yeah. Like Today's coaster, kids will never know what it's like to be enthusiasts without a without I social media. I started getting into this new game that just came out called Roller Coaster Tycoon, and started entering my parks into contests. There was a whole world of coasters I had yet to uncover, so I kept bouncing around from park websites and, with the help of RC. Oh, yeah, I had to go to the Wayback Machine to get those screenshots. And I uncovered X's one of the landed. craziest coasters I had ever seen. In fact, the wait is the over. craziest coaster I'd ever seen to that point. Millennium Force at Cedar Point. I could not believe what I was seeing with this thing, and I had I just had to get on it. I was obsessed with this thing. I even built a little Lego model out of it. I just had to get out there. I still do that. But in early 2001, I finally got my first Six Flags season Yeah, pass. I used that thing so much in much 2001 that I actually I snapped it in half by the, the end of the at year. The Magic Mountain was crazy at the time because they were opening Deja Vu and X supposedly in the spring. But after many delays, I finally made it out to Deja Vu's opening day in August. I guess it's actually pretty good second. considering the track record. Um, and right after Christmas, X opened to season pass. X opened holders, after so Christmas, that's more like it. That after the, you know, obligatory four hour waiting period. So that was 2001. In 2002, my dad offered to take me to Cedar Point, and I was finally going to get on Millennium That Force. was like absolutely so terrifying walking up, up in Millennium Forest in the morning. And uh, we flew into Columbus. It was like rainy and nasty. It's like really the, the only time I've been to Cedar Point Monday where the rain morning, we really caused a problem. Cedar Point and went straight to Millennium Force. And I snapped this photo and I stapled myself because I was so scared. Never staple and yourself. That's blasphemy these days. You know, you never staple yourself. But I wrote it, I loved it, and it was my number two ride with Ghost of Rider, of course, being number one still. So we spent a day and a half at Cedar Point, and then we drove down south to Kings Island. Um, I remember Son this park beast. being fun, but the rides being really rough. Their flagship attraction at the time was a lot Son of people beast. get nostalgic for Son of Beast, really and I think that around. none of those people so actually wrote it. Beast, and so did Racer and Vortex. So I remember this park being pretty rough, uh, and it's gotten a lot better since then. Uh, we yeah, also Holiday World, World that had a Red lot Raven different feel Legend, back then, which were great rides, more of a small park feel. Park, but it was still worth the trip. And then we finished the trip with Six Flags Worlds of Adventure. All my rare credits which had some great coasters. And knowing what we know now about the park closing in 2007, it was definitely worth the trip to get out there. So in 2003, I got a job. And where do you get a the job if you're selfie. an enthusiast? At Six Flags Magic Mountain, of course. The only position they would give me at the time was Check food out that service. Camera. So I took it. And 
as much fun as I had working there, it kind of jaded me. I didn't look like I was having all that much fun. Because I saw Magic Mountain as kind of a place to work and not play anymore. And I stopped. I kind of dropped off the message boards. I kind of got into different things. And by the December of 2004, when I went to Knott's for a visit, I noticed that they had put in a brand new... I had no idea that was there. Coaster, and I had absolutely no idea it was there. I mean, Silver Bullet was fun, but... I mean, it's pretty sad. Pulled up to I the park, no and I'm like, "What is that being an invert. invert at one of my home parks?" So I had officially forfeited my status as a coaster enthusiast at that point, and I really stayed out of the coaster. Check out that great PowerPoint editing, fading away like my coaster we enthusiasm. In time where I worked in some parks just for old times' sake. 2008, we went to go to Busch Gardens, Kings Dominion, Six Flags America, Six Flags Great Adventure, which, by the way. I yes, El Toro. El Toro. For the first time, and that was, was a religious experience. Insane. By the first ride, by the time we hit the brakes, I knew it was my number one coaster. Ten years later, it's still. Yeah, I made this a month before I went to Cedar so Point to ride Steel Vengeance, so. A little out of Cedar date. Point. I was still out of the coaster game, though, and I was still working at Magic Mountain. I decided to stay until I finished college and uh, get a real job. Yeah, so, uh, I, in 2009, I got a real job that paid me more than 10 bucks an hour. 2011, I never I cracked 10 bucks an hour at Magic Mountain, I was able and I worked there for eight years. In 2012, I got married, and since it was a January wedding, we decided to honeymoon in Orlando, so we hit Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Universal Studios, Islands We of had Adventure, a timeshare as a gift, we also and I made a trade for some Disney tickets, so it wasn't all that expensive. See Magic Mountain from our backyard. So here's a, a photo you can see out our back window. Um, it's not as fun tower, seeing that now that I can't go. You can also see X2 if you look off to your left. In December of 2012, we had she a She was never that little, come on. Sophia. And by early 2015, she was already ready for the Bugs Bunny World attractions. Yeah, she so was a lot braver than I was at her age. In, and I, I didn't start writing coasters until I was like the 12. Community, thanks to Facebook. I found Theme Park Review, also other pages like Coaster Crew, Coaster Studios and California Coaster Kings. That's unfortunate. I really credit social media as the main reason I got back into the coaster game. So in 2015, I really wanted to show my wife New York City. And while we're out there, PowerPoint always glitches when I zoomed so out. It drove me nuts. We just had to get there. So that took her that's true Toro. happiness right there. It's maintained its status. You can see my the number one flash pass in my hand too. Now her number one ride also. And while we're out there, we also went to Six Flags New England, which is just a couple hours north. And they had just opened Wicked Cyclone, which is one of the reasons why we went. And uh, Wicked Cyclone is currently now it's number four. Coasters. So there's some amazing coasters out there. Fury the and Steel Vengeance. As soon as we out. got back from that trip, I started planning the next one for 2016, a five-day, five-park road trip. Very yeah, this trip was nuts. When I was planning this, I thought I was going to fall asleep on one of the drives because Kings Island, we were going to drive out like Dolly, all night we through the night. Go ride Lightning Rod, of course. Holiday World, and especially that Holiday Flags World, right the Six Flags Great America, that was like a six-hour drive. Trips were to be my thing now, and we had to do something every year. So in 2017, me and my brother went out to Texas. We wrote, went to six we actually Flags drove to Texas. Texas. And that was Texas, like a 24-hour straight drive. Albuquerque, never, ZDT's never doing that again. I even turned a business trip from uh, into, uh, from Chicago and Dallas into trips to Great America over Texas and Fiesta Texas. And if 2017 wasn't busy enough, my wife decided to oh, that kind of logo play a prank needed on me serious by starting this airtime thrills Instagram account. And I like the idea so much that I 1200 took followers over and after a few weeks 213 and credits. Ever since. It's a long so time ago. I have I almost exactly trips, doubled the credits now. To do it. And I've had a lot of fun with it. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to parlay the Instagram into the YouTube game now. So let's yeah, see let's see how that goes. goes. In 2018, I have trips planned to Northern California. As yeah, you well can as see this map. This map was drawn before I knew I was going US, to Darien Lake or Six Flags St. Louis. Park in our path. So all those blue stars you see are parks that we're going to hit up. So me and my brother have an interesting road trip in front of us in July. And I'll go over that trip in one of our next videos. So that is my coaster story. It's a little strange given the long period of time where I didn't really pay attention to anything that was going on. But thanks to social media, I was able to find a platform to communicate with I other. Still can't believe I've never changed the pictures in my background. The old coaster forums that I was used to when I first got into coasters. So this is at just least, at least I changed the logo. Channel. Stay tuned a for bit better now. my 2018 trip. Uh, I'm going to rank the top coasters I'm going to go on on that, on that trip. 
I'm also going to do. I'll put the links to the cross country vlogs in, in the description. Also, I love top ten lists, so I'm going to do a lot of that. I'm also going to be out at Cedar Point for. Steel They're pretty Vengeance bad, but day, at least it kind of shows what we did on that trip. Farm for hang time opening day. So I'll get you all footage of that, and be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so watching that back, it wasn't as cringy as I thought it was going to be. Uh, other than the fact that I used PowerPoint for the entire video, if you want to watch it in full, uninterrupted, I'll put the link down below. It's been a great two years, and I hope there's a lot more coming, and I hope that we can all get back to the parks pretty soon. So thanks for taking this trip with me down memory lane, and I'll see you guys all next time.